Hi everyone, it's Taff. Welcome back to North Brabant in Farm Sim 15. Here we are, another early morning. Let's just see. Oops, didn't mean to. Uh... There we go. Get the HUD back. It's uh, 5:47, and you can probably see we've got 21,877 pounds in the old bankaroo. Now you're probably saying, "Hang on, we didn't end the last episode with that much money." And I can see, looking at the animal HUD, that we haven't sold any eggs or milk. So where has that extra money come from, Taff? Have you done a bank job? No, 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 don't worry. Cold, is that like salt? Probably. Um, what I've done during the night, I have basically sold the canola, and I've sold the wood chips, and that's what's brought us that money. Also, while you've been gone, since you've been gone, since you've been gone, I've been ploughing the field. Uh, so, yeah. We left the, the guy going in the field last time, Mark going in the field with the cultivator, so he has now sown canola in wheat 8. That has been done. Job done. Our uh, barbed wire fence looks a bit rusty, but that's fine. So field 8 has been sown, is good to go. Now, while we speak, we have, you can probably see I'm walking towards in the lower map, walking towards a little steering wheel which indicates the AI is controlling as a hired worker the other tractor now this is in field 7 and uh, they are busy cultivating away to get that field ready to go also uh, it took forever to seed field 8 I managed to do fields what is it field 5 as well field 5 has also been uh, cultivated, not seeded, just cultivated. So yeah, we've got a couple of fields done while we are waiting. Now, what have we got? So we've got, so you see, that's growing, and we've got field five, which has been cultivated. Field forty-five is looking green, which is a bit weird, um, but that I think we've cultivated that as well. We can go and check. But primarily, what I'm trying to say is, we've done a lot of cultivating, and we've got some stuff to do. We've got field eleven over there as well. Is that ours? It looks like ours as well. Fantastic. We can go and get that seeded as well. But what I'm trying to get to is that we have got a seeded field now and we also therefore need to be able to fertilize it. Now, we haven't got a fertilizer and we don't have much in the way of liquid manure. We've got 1300 litres and of solid manure we have 1100 litres. So not a great deal. So, uh, a solid manure spreader is probably not the option at this stage nor is a slurry spreader so we're probably gonna have to look at fertilizers let's just have a look at sprayers are uh, 29 grand so fertilizer 14 grand for the front amazon and i think that's probably what we'll, we'll buy boom that's just being you know we can we can sell that later that's left us with seven grand now ideally this little thing is just while it does everything which is pretty pretty good well it does almost everything bar uh potatoes it's uh, it's it's so small. Look at that. A working width of three meters. Now the Vader Stad is a double that, and it. Oh, hang on. What's it missing? It's got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It can't do corn or beet. Okay, so we could do this for cereal crops. That's fine. That's fifty-two grand though. The Grimmies are obviously for potato harvesting. This Vader stat is for corn and beets. The horse is for uh, corn, barley, canola, and grass. And the other horse is for those two. Okay, great. So, I think we need to upgrade to a Vader stat, definitely. Also, the cultivating has taken forever. So, we've got this, which is what? Three meters, four, five meters. 8 meters so ideally we'd like to get something that size um, but to get the bigger that 52 grand obviously we are a little bit short of cash now we can borrow some money but even that won't get us that far at this stage so um, we're gonna have to do some work but we do before anything else have to go and collect let's uh, So what we can do though, let's get this one, what do we say, we wanted to get some barley going as well, so if we get some, some barley.
Alright, so if we just nip in here, we'll get this started to be sown with barley. Uh, it's had corn on it last time, if you remember. So we'll just angle him in. And away you go. Right. So we've got barley being seeded there, and he's busy getting wrapping himself around a tree. Let's just skip to him. Goodness me. Yeah. Oh god, how what's how is he how how on God's earth have you managed to do this? It is the Austin Powers moment, isn't it? There we go. We're away. Okay, so if he can do this with the cultivator, you can guarantee the cedar will do it as well. Right. Off you go, off you go. Right, we'll grab the little this one. Uh let's basically drop our rear weight and what we can do is go and collect the uh, we can go and collect the Amazon fertilizer pellet spreader thing oh this is a little bit lightweight this is quite a lightweight tractor isn't it but it's okay it's okay uh, I'm thinking, should we take our plough and sell our plough? Because we don't need a plough just yet, and should we ever need one, we can always buy one later, at a later date. But for now, let's sell the plough. I doubt this thing will even pick up, will it? Oh yeah, it will. Let's um, put the bucket low. That should give us a little bit more of a better centre of gra gravity. Uh, oh no, apparently... Lifting it higher makes it a better centre of gravity. Okay. Whoops. Oh, we just clipped the truck, so we'd have to pay damages for that, no, no doubt. Right. Um, I'm hoping there's a little lane we can just cut down here. There is. Fantastic. The joys of being a farmer, eh? So we'll go and get this sold. We'll go and pick up our fertiliser. Uh, and we'll see how that works its way out in the books. Obviously we're losing money all the time because we're doing hired help and you're probably saying, well, just do it all manually. Yeah, they're quite big fields and we've got quite small implements at the moment. So, uh, yeah, doing it all manually would be an absolute ball ache, to be honest with you. And I probably don't have the time to invest to do it all on my own. So, um... As we come into the village, it's over there. So, yes, we are going to whoo, bounce over the bumps. Going to get this done. We can also look to see if we can start some mixed ration. That would be quite good. We do have a little bit of silage in the storage area, so. Almost drove straight past it. So, we can get that all the mixing, and then uh, what we can do. When we're waiting for it to grow, we can. Um, so when we're waiting for the crops to grow, which we're we're harvesting, I'll start again. Once we're waiting for the crops to grow, to, ready for harvest, we will. Uh, we can go and get some more grass and start filling up one of the silage bins and see if we can get that going as well. I'd also like to possibly get. Uh, let's just drive this over to the shop and see what else is for sale. Let's just switch the engine off. Save some, save some fuel. Uh, we'll sell that plow. Do I want to sell it for nine grand? Yes, please. Oh, we could potentially get some money out as well, couldn't we? We could potentially get thirty grand out, I believe. So let's borrow some more money. Oh, we can borrow a lot more than that, actually. Okay. We've borrowed quite a bit of money now, uh, and what I wanted to buy was A, the bigger cedar, the Vedastat. It's twice the width, I think it's well worth it, we'll buy that. And also, we wanted to get a bigger cultivator, didn't we? Was there something else we'd like to purchase? We've got 38, we just need essentials. Potentially, what forestry equipment? What's how much? That's 54. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we've got any mods. Uh, 
Oh, that thing. Yeah, that wasn't a, that wasn't a roaring success, was it? Um, ooh, some marshalling stuff. Oh, wow! Look at that big old Amazon. Uh, hello. That's what we just bought, isn't it? These are new, are they? Interesting. Oh, I should have looked at these. Look at these bad boys. These OEB ones. Right, so didn't we just buy the rapid... But that does something else. I'm not sure what that is. Is that oats? I don't know. I don't know. Um, also, we obviously, we could hmm, potentially go into beets, but they're expensive, so in all likelihood, no. Um, but I think we've got what we needed. We've got what we needed. There's other other things I'd like to... Other things I'd like to uh, have a look at. That's also one of the other things, actually. While we're here, eight hundred. Um, now that is what we can potentially pick up some uh, log fork. So I want to buy that. Yep, and I also want to buy a chainsaw. I have no real care which one I buy so I bought them right now uh, let's I'll tell you what let's cheat and get that reset back to base I know I know what you're saying but we've paid enough so we can get that delivered yeah please and we'll just get that reset back yeah please okay great now we'll jump in here now we could potentially also get the the logging trailer because we could get some more money out on the loan and potentially get that but um, I don't want to go crazy just yet I always feel guilty when I start spending money I shouldn't do really it's my uh, it's my business I uh, if it survives if it fails it's all down to me yeah, I don't like to spend too much money all at once because you know sometimes you can get your mind in a bit of a rut, and all you can see is you know a blinkered view of what's to come. And uh, then when you stop and look back, you think, "Ah, oh, why did I do that? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever." But here we, hey ho, that's what sometimes happens, and uh, I've done that many a times. All right, the cows look happy. Right, we can get some sp uh, pellet spraying done then. Oh, the cow's coming across. Still freaks me out when I see him coming across. Garden's looking good. Needs a mow, actually. Right, where's the... Ah, there it is over there. Right, so let's just fill this up. Check on the other guys. He's He hasn't finished. He's, uh, he's stuck in the hedge, though. Maybe we need to do some cultivating while we get around this awkwardly shaped angle. Let's just get rid of the HUD, shall we, for a minute. And then we can enjoy this. Right, so let's get some cultivating done. Spend some time doing some cultivating and making sure the other tractor is going okay. Yeah, there he is. That's good news. Um, one thing I have noticed is it is now... Ah, uh, it's only coming up to 6am. Like I say, we've still got milk. I'm not sure if there's actually an automated milk delivery or we have to actually load it into a milk wagon and take it to the dairy ourselves. I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at that. That's just going to drive me crazy looking at... Ugh, go in reverse. This shuttle... I don't know if my, my space bar is going, but this shuttle... 
gearbox is starting to become annoying. I don't think it's working particularly well. Right, let's just get this bit I missed. Oh, so frustrating. First bit I do, and I screw it up straight away. And we've got a really odd shape end of the field there because of the uh, power line. So what I'm probably going to do is probably straight line that. And, uh, yeah, not worry about it. We'll let the uh, the little bits go to uh, grass and wildflower for the uh, for the animals and stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. It'll be there. Okay, so that field. No, it's not that field. It's the field behind these is ours as well. Field 11. Now I haven't checked that field out, so we might have to go and check that out and see what's there. Because so I feel we've got a lot of cultivating and a lot of ploughing and a lot of seeding and fertilising ahead of us. Which um, to some of you will be, yay, that's great, and to some of you that will be, oh, good God. Um, to me it's like, ah, oh, I've done enough. You know, a couple of fields worth is probably enough in any one go for me, but um, that's just me. I'm the one doing it. It's slightly different. Sometimes it's better to do it rather than just watch it, but I missed it there as well. Well, at least I was consistently missing it, I guess. Consistency is the key. I might see if I can get rid of this weird triangle up here. And then I can give it back to the A. I've missed a bit more, haven't I? Yeah. God damn it! This is why I hire help, you know. I, I just can't be doing with this. I can't do it in cab, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. I need to stay out outside so we can uh, see what we're doing. But I know some of you like in cab, some of you don't like in cab. It's just. Uh, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's. Get on the road. Right, so that field there, that ploughed field there is ours. Interesting. Right, so what I'll do, I'll stick that stick a bit in here. Go straight across. I'll do tidy up this little corner bit and or I might just set him going to do this little square we've just created. We cheat a bit. Testing out the uh, construction of the, the cultivator there. See if any of the metal bars are loose. Right, let's just tidy this little cornery butt up. Then we can um, give it back to Sebastian to do his stuff. Or short. I tell you what, no, I'll let Sebastian do his stuff. Anyway, this tractor is actually pulling slightly awkwardly. Maybe I have twisted the frame of the sh of the uh, the chassis of the cultivator and damaged it. Ah oh, well, look to get a new one soon. Now I seem to remember uh, people were saying they wanted um, canola. That's why we planted planted canola in field 8 um, and also there you go Sebastian um, I think he's stuck on the tree also they wanted barley so we're planting barley in field 7 field 5 we had barley or wheat in there last time so we may put um, something else in there this time just got his wheel snagged come on there we go Back up. There we go. And R. Brilliant. 
Right, um, so we we're refilling this. We can get some... Oh, I tell you what, it is full. What it's showing is uh, only a little bit full is because we've got the bucket on the front, isn't it? That's what it's making it look weird. So we've got um, our new Super Duper one, which we can get using that in a bit. Um, but before we do that, let's go over to our um, field over here and start the fertilization process. Yeah, it's a good idea getting this little tractor in the end. Uh, I know it wasn't. this isn't what we were envisioning we're going to use this little tractor for, but it, it helps when we've got those two tractors um, plowing away. Oh, look at this. We've got some old... oh, it doesn't matter. We've got some mist. We've got some down here as well. Goodness me, the AI. We've got some mist... Um, withered corn on the cob, which we missed last time. Never mind. Never mind, don't worry your head about it. Right, let's go. Hopefully we're going to get all this. Drive at an angle and try and get the most from the spread, which is pretty cool. Now to feed, to feed, to seed this field, oh my goodness, we had to fill up probably about four or five times. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Gone on the glory days when you can just set the the AI hired help going, and uh, and that's all you had to do. He'd just finish it, and obviously you wouldn't have to worry about refilling. But um, yeah, I kind of like the realism of obviously it costing us money and that kind of thing. But also, what would have been nice is if we could buy those bags, which you can you know load on the back of a trailer, drive down to the uh, thing and you can reload at the bag rather than having to drive all the way back to the farm because that was a bit of a bind even though it's not that big a drive to be fair it was a bit tough clearly wasn't driving very straight I'm not paying much attention today am I? it's, uh, it's not the best I'm not going to worry about that a little bit I'm not going to worry about that a little bit Oop, we're right on the edge. There we go. Straighten up. Brilliant. So what's the time now? It is 6.05. We still have the milk. Maybe it's 7 o'clock. We'll have to have we'll have to see if we actually get the milk deliveries or we have to deliver the milk ourselves. I'm not sure to be honest with you. One of the other things I was thinking about was obviously looking to get uh, the pigs, because the pigs we can. Uh, although I don't know if we've actually got a animal transport trailer. I don't know how the pigs work in this, because obviously we had the pigs in Farm Sim 13, where we could take them down in the uh, in the wagon down to the butchers to uh, to create the wonders of bacon and ham and all that kind of jazz. So I don't know how it kind of works in this map. I'll have to have a read up and see what's going on. There is a ability to fatten animals up for cows, chickens, and also the pigs. So you can, uh, I, I guess, the sheep as well. But you know, you tend to eat lamb rather than mutton, don't you? Well, I guess mutton's okay. People do eat mutton. Whoa, tractor's out of control. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Try and bring it under control. It's not going to take that long at all, actually. I know it's going to take a while, but compared to how long it took us to seed it, my goodness, you have no idea. Is this field ours? No, I don't think it is. It's got a little for sale sign thing at the end. Completely balls that up. Normally you get a feel for how how wide the uh, the spray is, but um, just not feeling it today for some reason. There we go. That's better. Right, let's have a look. How are the other tractors doing? Are they still moving? One seems... To, yes, they're both still moving. That's good news. Cool. 
So I've been looking at another couple of maps in Farm Sim thir uh, 15, I beg your pardon. Um, I've got no plans to uh, get rid of this map because I really do like this map. It's a nice little map, but I kind of feel it's a little bit too big for me, maybe. I don't know what you guys think. Is it is it a bit too big for a one-man band? I don't know. Let's just try and join them up. It's not, it's not going to work, so I'm just going to drive straight. So there's a couple of other farms I've been looking at which uh, offer some nice opportunities in the uh, agricultural industry. I'm not going to jump straight away, don't worry. Don't worry, we've got, we've got plenty of time and stuff to do on this map first. But, you know, we don't want to be sitting on this map in a year's time. We'll be bored, ridgeless of it. We really, Well, I, I will be if you, you won't, you know. It's kind of... Oh, goodness me. I'm missing huge patches, but it doesn't matter. It don't matter. I say it don't matter, it don't matter. The good thing is, it, the um... This little pellet fertilizer is going to have more than enough to do this field, which is great news. Ideally we would like to switch over to slurry and um, solid manure in time and that's another reason why I'd like to get some pigs going as well because pigs really do help um, contribute to uh, slurry especially but also the muck side of it as well so give our cows a helping hand in the old muck producing department which would be great and then once we buy the equipment we should be able to you know Fertilize our fields almost for free, apart from the fuel and the. Uh, what was that, Jugger? Uh, apart from the fuel and uh, everything, it will be a nice little byproduct. We'll get off the animals and we should be able to do that quite nicely. That's the idea, anyway, to try and become self sufficient. Whether or not it happens, ah, who knows? It's me, so it's never going to be that efficient, is it? There's always going to be um, wild spending sprees with no real understanding or thought behind them. Just, it's shiny, it's new, I must buy. And that lovely warm glow when you buy something. Then the guilt, then I find the guilt kicks in. I don't know if it's the same for anyone else. Typical, isn't it? It's just that little strip. Oh well. It's fine. We're going to do it. Right. But, I'll, we're not going to lose focus. We are going to do dairy as our main thing. Obviously, 10 cows at the moment. Once we do this harvest and sell that, we'll then buy a load more cows. And uh, and we'll see how it goes. The chickens, we've got uh, nine eggs to go and collect, actually. So that's uh, quite good. Right, field eight. The canola field, sorted. Let's come back into the farm and check what's going on. can do is put this away. We'll put this in the middle because it's quite a, a narrow middle opening of the barn. Uh, I'll tell so you what I'll do. I'll leave the I'll leave that out for now because we might use it on one of the other tractors. Uh, and before we go, let's just get some mixing done of this uh, feed ration. Let's just check the. F is he stuck against a tree? I believe so. He's going okay, and he's stuck against a tree. It is the Jeremy Clarkson approach of getting around a tree in this game, isn't it? Power! And that's all they do. They just try and power past the tree. These these Deutz tractors or Dutz tractors are superb little workers, aren't they? They just 
back and forth, back and forth, doing a grand job. Right, set him on his way, brilliant. Right, back we go. Where's our weight? There it is, where we left it. Awesome. Wow, this this there's some weird physics going on on this tractor. It's got some all sorts of slidey weirdness going on with it. Right, so what do we need? We need silage, grass, and straw. So we've got silage in front of us. Although it says zero zero zero. I'm pretty sure we had some it. Oh, I'll tell you what we need to do. We probably can't pick it up there. Probably need to get the bucket uh, under the uh, conveyor. So if we get the bucket about like that, and stick that under the conveyor, does that work? Well, okay. So it is reading zero there. I, I, but I'm pretty sure when I looked in here. Oh, seeds. Oh, that's what those things were. Um, or maybe I, I misread it then. I thought it had silage. So we've got pig, fat and chicken, beef, si oh, we've got no silage. Okay, scrap goes that idea then. So we've just got grass and uh, straw. Fine. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'd seen something else clearly and misread it. Ah, apologies for that. So we will need. Cause, you know, it looks, looks like we've got a nice pile of silage there, doesn't it? But no, it's lying to us. Okay, so we will need to go and get some uh, silage done. So we'll wait for this field to uh, to regrow, which it is doing. I think we do have another grass field as well. Uh, field ten is grass. Field four is grass as well, and field two. So we we'll get some more grass cutting done. Collect that up for silage, and uh, we'll get that going. And hopefully we can uh, get a pickling and we'll be able to make some uh, mixed ration. Where's my other tractor? Oh, there he is. He's parking over near that barn. So, I'll leave it like that. Uh, we've got some work to do, as you see. Uh, we've got a lot of um, we have a lot of work to do, actually. Uh, so we're going to get barley on there. We've put planted canola. We're going to have some corn as well. And we'll probably do um, some more wheat uh, so we can collect the straw I think that's probably the way we're going to go we can stack the straw for total mixed ration and also for bedding and and that like so yep plenty to do uh, still no sign of a milk delivery so I'm wondering if uh, all the cows are now in well a lot of the cows are now in the parlour which makes me think and there's obviously the the point where you pick it up well I say lots there's, there's three and there's another one coming in so um, yeah, I will figure out whether or not we need to. I bet you we need to buy a milk trailer, do we? Um, would it be in misc? Water, transport liquids. Um, just a wait. That's a slurry trailer, isn't it? Yeah, it's a slurry trailer. Nope. Okay. I think there must be a delivery. It must be a delivery. So don't worry about that unless it's in tippers. No. Uh, where would it be anywhere else, do you reckon? I don't know why I'm asking. You can't exactly reply, can you? Um, no, I think I think it must be collectible. So we'll leave it there when I've got the, the lovely view of uh, through the barbed wire fence of our tractors working in tandem in the fields, planting our barley. I'll uh, I'll say goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like and thoughts and suggestions, please leave in the comment sections below. Uh, anything you'd like to see us do on the farm, please let me know and we'll see if we can accommodate you as well. Perfect. Okay. Well, thanks for that and I'll see you next time.